Welcome to the mini Let's Plays of the Play 21 Festival. And we have with us today uh, Louis, also known as uh, Ludifé, with his game Chess 2 Turbo Edition. Welcome. Hi, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, because we are on a clock, we have like 10 minutes, it's a, it's a mini Let's Play. We really start off quickly with a little warm up. And I just uh, say a sentence and you can try to finish it, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then uh, easy first one. This morning I drank uh, black tea. <laughs> yeah, I am a tea person. My main occupation is uh, game designer. I do some things on the side, such as talks, pitching, organize events, but yeah, I'm mainly a game designer. Nice. Um, I would describe myself as. Oh, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'd say that um, I'm a mix of uh, I like things that are both creative, but also some part of logic and managed resentment and those things. If that makes sense. Absolutely. <laughs> My superpower is. Oh, superpower. Um, I'm not terrible at baking, actually. <laughs> I call that my superpower. Okay. The thing I'm holding in my hand most of the time is. Uh, probably my phone. That happens a lot, a lot with everybody these days. Uh, but yeah, that would be like the <laughs> most accurate answer. Yeah. <laughs> During the pandemic, I. Oh, actually, I uh, watched a lot of. Um, I don't know if classical is the word, but uh, famous TV shows that uh, I didn't watch as a teenager as a kid. I watched the whole Buffy the Vampire Slayer thing and the whole The Gilmore Girls. Nice. I, I also started with Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And uh, after the pandemic, I will. Um, so, I mean, it's, the pandemic isn't over yet, but uh, I'm already like enough to be traveling around and seeing friends and all that that was like my main plan like really else after the pandemic uh but yeah i get that uh once this is over i'll just see more friends and travel to more places <laughs> oh that's, that's so nice um and uh, for you personally um i'm creating interactive works because oh uh so many reasons actually uh but um i just like if i had to choose one like um you know i could be making videos or writing articles or something like that but uh i really like myself i really click with interactivity as a medium i like making things that are creative but that receives input from somebody else and that creates something new uh, so yeah many reasons but that's like the, the main one i like how people interact with this kind of content and i find it extremely appealing from from yeah mm -hmm. and one big question uh <laughs> for the end. The future of games will be? Oh, I don't know if I'm, I should get like super pessimistic and, uh, <laughs> and worry about the things like, oh, this like, I don't know, this new business model is going to end everything. Um, but, you know, like the cool side of games that um, even when evil things are happening and, and you know, the news aren't always great, uh, every year game, games get more open, that, like they are easier tools and more accessible tools that allow anybody to, to express themselves and their reality through games. And we get to see more weird things. And that's actually like my, my favorite part about uh, games right now. Yeah, more weird things. I hope for that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Do you feel warmed up? Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, nice. Well, then let's have a look at your game. Let's switch over to... Uh... Oh, this this looks not like the chess I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a bit different. It's like uh, again, uh, the the name is uh, Chess Two Turbo Edition, which uh, you know, kind of if if you remember those uh, Street Fighter with <laughs> with that uh, silly name that I I love this uh, silly but super long uh, game names that sometimes games have. Uh, yeah, it's a mix of chess and, and a fighting game. How does this work? What, what can we see right now? You're, you're you're green, I guess, and they're not. Yeah, you don't... yeah. It's not all the <laughs> chess pieces. 
<laughs> yeah, so you don't have to, to excuse uh, yeah, uh, my bad moves since, you know, talking and <laughs> playing this under the pressure, it's, uh, it's a bit overwhelming. But yeah, so basically, uh, you choose a character, like in a fighting game, you know, so but instead of choosing a Ryu, Ken, or some, or Mario, or whatever, uh, you choose like a starting set of pieces. You don't have a king. It's, um, I try to uh, take the things I liked from uh, fighting games, such as, um, having different characters and uh, being super fast and all that. And I try to translate that to chess mechanics. So instead of mm -hmm. having different characters, you have different sets of starting pieces and there's no king to make the game faster. And uh, you have like a very limited amount of time to like that red thing running out. is like uh, the time you get uh, for its turn. And right now I'm playing uh, against the computer, a um, super crappy uh, artificial intelligence that I built for this, like super, super crappy. Uh, but uh, the main point of the game, just like with the Street Fighter and all that, is to play against friends. I see. And uh, was this your main goal in developing it or what was the idea behind it? Or when did you get the idea? Uh, so basically this is... Um, I think this is an interesting thing. Uh, I was I sometimes organize game jams, sometimes physical, sometimes online, and I decided to organize a game jam with a friend. And the theme of the jam was um, the name of it was something like the Dream Arcade Collective. We were inspired by uh, those weird arcade games that you see in The Simpsons. You know, like um, Martin Price is playing something like Oh My Dinner with Andre, the, the video game, or, or things like that. Uh, mm -hmm. The thing was to create. Um, games that look like arcade games you know the menu the style how fast they are the scoring maybe a multiplayer mode but that you know like they have like themes narrative themes or mechanics that would never have been on a actual arcade from the 80s and the 90s this is like uh the, the screen selection that i told you like uh, you have different characters are like uh, based on actual chess openings and then you pick one and you get a different set of pieces that maybe you have more pawns, maybe you have a rook, maybe you oh, have two bishops. I didn't know that. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, it... that was the starting point of, uh, of the game, the, this jam. And I, I, don't know, I was looking for some concepts. And um, I used to work as a chess teacher in a school. I just also used to play a bit of chess, like in a team and on tournaments and leagues and all that. And I know I've always wanted to make something that is um, a weird variation of chess, but I never got the chance. And I know, uh, the, the idea seemed to be like cool for the young, like, oh, chess wouldn't, would have never been a real arcade. How about I make a game out of that? <laughs> Absolutely. And did you, did you see how people react uh, to the game while playing or afterwards? Are they, are they really aggressive or is it like, <laughs> oh no, this is all fun? <laughs> yeah, so I, I would have to say because um, I, you know, when, when I build my games, I never know how, if people are going to click with it a lot or not. I didn't expect people to, to really uh, engage with this because, you know, it's a um, local multiplayer game. You have to get a friend and it involves chess. Not everybody likes chess. And sometimes you like chess, but you don't like being so rushed and moving so fast. Uh, but then it was cool to see videos on YouTube from people playing the game. And yeah, most of them were being super aggressive. Yeah, I saw some videos that uh, they always like um, ended in, in a draw, like people being super defensive, but mostly it was just people throwing pieces at, at each other, uh, which I thought it was fun. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean, uh, I could totally see this in, in some kind of little tournament, uh, especially when people notice uh, the, the tactics you can have in there with the different pieces and it's making a difference which character you choose. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be super cool and fun. I mean, um, as you can imagine, uh, the game balance of this was done super fast in the middle of the jam. <laughs> so, but yeah, sure. I'd love to, to, see, to see that kind of thing, like uh, to see people trying this in a, in a more serious way and trying mm -hmm. to actually uh, learn or come up with a, with a winning strategy. And yeah, I finally managed to, to win one of these uh, games. So even though this game is intended for two players, there's like a, a, it isn't a campaign, it's like a story mode. And uh, you keep beating players, and there's this uh, uh, this mysterious character that keeps talking into you. And when you have been other characters, you get to play against him, who is like a uh, like a, a secret character that doesn't appear on the screen. So let's see. Ooh, 
cool. So uh, yeah, everybody watching, uh, you should definitely uh, try this out and try to beat this mysterious stranger or your friends uh, now that you know all the tactics behind it. Um, is there uh, any upcoming game or work you want to highlight as well? Yeah, so uh, I'm working on a, on a, I don't know if I should put it big, you know, it's um, a long in the, in, the, in the game right now uh, called Sushi for Robots. It's a puzzle game and I haven't shown a lot about the game. I have an early prototype, but uh, the version I'm working on, uh, I'm going to start sharing more about that in probably around Christmas or so. Uh, and I also release like um, small games all the time. Uh, the best way to, to see what I do is to go either to Twitter or to Itzio and look for, yeah, Ludipe, my name, L-U-D-I-P-E. And yeah, uh, you'll see lots of small games and some games are not so small. Very nice. Yeah, thank you very much. I, I think your games are very inspiring in the, 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 the size and the uh, interactivity and the just, uh, you know, the experimentation you do with that. Um, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to all future works. Ah, thanks a lot. Well then, this is the uh, 10 minutes. Uh, I hope it was fun and uh, see you at the festival. <laughs>